I know that this is not like the best damage, but it's pretty cool because I just wasn't expecting. I've never used Turagi the Frog, rip it, rip it. He looks like a sumo demon type champion, uh, but Channel 2 was talking about him. I realized I've never used him before, but I have him, two star blessing. Uh, his A1, decrease attack. He is an HP based champion. So if you're decreasing somebody's attack, and you're already a tanky champion, well, that just helps you to survive a lot longer, so they hit like a wet noodle. His A2, AoE, Provoke, chance increases by 5%, because it's at a 50% chance right now, you could get Masteries, book it up to, or bring it up to 55%, and then extra 5 for every debuff on the enemy team. Now I'm thinking Hydra, right? Because you can Provoke the, the Head of Cleansing, and then you could also place a bunch of debuffs and make it 100%. Kind of, you know, tricky, a little bit, a little bit different than, you know, somebody like, uh, uh, what's her, not, not Gala, um, you know what I'm talking about, the, the, the dwarf, places a shield, this is A3, places a shield equal to 15% of his max HP, and an ally protect, okay, so he's got ally protect for his team, good survivability, increase, or heals the champion by 25% of their max HP, also placing a reflect damage on them for three turns. That's pretty cool. Heal increases by 25% for each poison debuff on the team. Okay, so we have a few things going on here. So what I'm thinking right now is I would build him with high HP, some res, and some accuracy. It's looking like because of the decreased attack and the provoke. So the issue that we have here is that if you bring in ally protect shield and reflect damage into hydra because that's where i'm thinking about using him right now i i've never seen this guy in arena and i'm pretty sure he could work in faction wars but my faction wars team is already set up i could see it being used in centranos but i don't focus on centranos that much it's kind of like i throw champions in if it works it works if it doesn't i don't stress over it i don't spend time on it Heals by 22.5%. Oh, let's check his passive. When attacked, 50% chance of placing poison occurs once per hit. That's pretty cool. So, decrease attack, provoke, shield, survivability, the entire team, reflect damage. So, anybody who attacks you is receiving some damage. And then you're placing a poison on them. Now I'm thinking that there's some solo mechanics almost. Can he solo? I think he can solo the Scarab. Right, because he's got the shield, he's got poisons whenever he's attacked. I think the best set to put him in would either be something like Regen and Immortal to keep him alive even longer, but he's got some healing mechanics already. But a Protect set, a Protect set seems like the best thing here. So I'm going to try to build him out in a pr Protection set. Also put Cruelty on him so that we decrease the champion's or the, the enemy's defense. Right now it's only up to 5%. 10% for regular champions, but in Hydra, we're looking at 5%. So my main focus here is going to be to see what he does for us in Hydra, as well as along the way, maybe think about other... Well, let me think. Clan boss. Clan boss is actually going to be pretty decent against the Demon Lord. And then probably in the dungeons, there might be a boss or two where he can poison them to death. So we'll see. But let me go ahead and max him out right quick here. And then we'll um, get to it. Wait, hold on, let me use up these because I, 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 I need to make room. I need to make room. All right, we have a plus one Taragi. He is already fully booked. So I don't have to worry about booking him. Now, the issue here is I don't have gems. I'm out of gems. So we're not going to get masteries for him. But... I think we'll do we'll do just fine. Oh, he also has res in battle, so that's pretty good. Now let's go ahead and take him to the Hell Hades Optimizer. Let's click live refresh. We're gonna try him out in normal. The Hydra heads have a res of 120, so we're gonna want at least 150. The Hydra heads have accuracy of 190, so we're gonna want 300. See protection gear. Oh, you have a 25% chance, then a 50% chance. So yeah, it's not going to be a 100% chance. 
Okay, so I was able to build out Taragi, put some enchantments on it, put a little bit of oil in it as well. We have six pieces of protection, so we get all of these stat bonuses as well as a 50% chance to place protected buffs. Um, you know, it's like the main thing that we want to deal with whenever we're worrying about the Mischief Tank, because we don't want up stealing anything. We have one supersonic boot on, extra res on that. And we have extra accuracy coming from a feral accessory that we get from Siege. Here are the specific pieces of gear, working on getting the decent amount of speed that we have, some survivability stats with HP and defense, and then we're looking for some res and we're looking for accuracy as well. The boot has triple speed, defense and HP percent. Then we have feral, extra defense, HP. Crit damage on protection is not the ideal situation, but it makes this work, so we'll take whatever we can get. But ideally for Taragi, you would want more survivability. But I don't know, maybe he can smack. Well, total stats include 83,000 HP, almost 4K on the defense. That really bothers me. It's not at least 4K exact. Or not exact, but like I, I want it to be. It's so close to 4K, it bothers me that it's not. Come on, give me 4K. Give me 4K. Is that 4K? Without shit, that was HP. I need defense. Whoops. Give me 4K, uh, give me 4K, yeah, give me 4K. How about now? This time. This time. That was only three. Still not 4K. Uh, where's more defense at? We're gonna put more defense on. Oh, here. Perfect. Of course he would just give me a one. Of course he would just give me two. Thought it was going to give me three. 4K defense, 225 speed, 301 res, and 213 with the accuracy. Now, again, he's not fully maxed out because of masteries and not entirely in my best protection gear, so temper your expectations. Let's go ahead and try him in. Did I hit? Oh, I haven't done... Um... Oh, I did a nightmare, but I haven't done normal yet. Let's take out Cardio and bring in Taragi. And we're gonna let it run on auto and we're gonna see how we end up. All right, so there is Taragi. We're gonna see what he does here. Increase accuracy. So he places the buffs. None of them were protected except for the one on Rotos, which is pretty nice. We got the reflect damage on us as well. So, you know, we reflected the damage. That uh, fear head got 1500, got cleansed. So the reflect doesn't seem to do too much for us because this head just hit us and only received about like 900 damage. So maybe reflect damage isn't the best, but you see some poisons are going up. Okay, so there the protection goes up, placing reflect damage. And it's nice because that head isn't gonna be able to steal any of the buffs. Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about when you want to bring champions in who help your uh, other team do what they need to do. So right now, I think like Taragi is doing an excellent job with keeping the team alive. Granted, these guys are already uh, well supported and in decent gear. So this is his heal ability and the ally protect. This is his A1. I wanna see what he does against this head here. 106, I did not expect that out of him. I did not expect him to hit that hard. I was expecting like, I don't know, 30K. As you can see, Taragi is still alive. We're still kicking. We're at around turn 104. Yeah, he's able to keep everybody alive and the poisons help out a little bit. It's not crazy. It's not a crazy amount. And he's able to keep himself alive. He's got the res for it. And he's got reflect damage. And I'm realizing that the reflect damage isn't exactly helping out all that much. Like. The reflect damage only reflects 30% of the damage that he's taking. And, you know, if he's not really taking that much damage, then, you know, it's just kind of not working, working out in the initial way that I thought. I did see that, um, but, but then again, sorry, hold on, let me back up there. But then again, any extra damage is still extra damage and it's still good. I did check out on YouTube real quick while I was waiting for this Hydra run to finish that there are comps out there with soloing the scarab so if you're interested in that just go to youtube and type in solo scarab 
and um, Taragi. It looks like he can do it. I don't know how far he can go, but I'm pretty sure he can do it with the right gear. I just wanted to also point out that thanks to Turagi with the ally protect, when this head all the way on the left hits us, the head of wrath, we're not going to be receiving uh, that much damage. So somebody who's not that tanky, somebody like Cupidus will be able to survive through it. The other thing that I wanted to point out was this head here, the head of cleansing. Well, who cleanses? But with Turagi's move, we're able to place the provoke up on him, like I was talking about earlier when we were going over his skills, so that the head can only attack with the A1, and we don't have to worry about getting things cleansed. We can try to do our best and get rid of the other heads before this head can do anything. So it's pretty nice. And right now, Turagi's looking a little low, but he's got that heal healing for about 25k. He's taking a lot of punishment for us. Luckily, we also have Tuana Rock here, placing continuous heals with the A1. So if you're going to use Turagi, you know, he does do a good amount of healing himself. But I would probably think of another way to incorporate healing mechanics to support him further. Maybe put him in, uh, I don't know immortal if you can't make a nine piece protection work the other build i was talking about the other build was regeneration you could do regeneration or bolster and immortal or you could bring somebody else who does healing for taragi okay i showered and i came back here and i saw what was going on we're about to hit the turn limit and uh i was actually surprised i did not you know i didn't expect to take it this far I didn't know that they were going to survive this long, but apparently Taragi is just that great at keeping the entire team alive. This is probably one of the most quintessential examples of what I am talking about whenever you guys hear me say, you know, work on synergy. Work on synergy with your teams and you're going to be able to go pretty far, right? So finding that perfect balance between support champions as well as finding the appropriate damage dealers or wherever your damage is going to come from it's going to take you very far i know that this is not like the best damage but it's pretty cool because i just wasn't expecting this sort of damage and i believe that taragi was able to um do a lot of this ribbit ribbit i am smoking on that gas life should be on cinemax movie